TFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 217. You get the Nasdaq down 20. S&Ps are up 17 and a half. We get over and take a look at the S&P first, folks. It looks to me like we're still developing this B to C of an ABC structure on the way down. You know, what you had on Friday is that uh, bottom line, you got to a higher high, sold it off uh, coming into the close. We went from a 276 down to uh, the 269, closed out at 271. That being said, guess what? Uh, bottom line, you're rejecting lower price out here today. You have light volume. Uh, bottom line, I expect this uh, SPY to get up somewhere in about the 278 area and you're at 273. Now, it's going to get really intriguing because, of course, tomorrow we're going to have the election. That's going to be high volatility uh, in the market uh, more than likely um, on Wednesday. We're going to take a look at the queues. What do we have with the queues? Same setup in the queues. The queues are just rejected lower price, have lighter volume. Bottom line, they want higher price. And that in the context that Apple is getting smoked and uh, I suspect will still uh, go, go lower. But the queues in general, they're trading at 169. I expect uh, that thing looks like it can get to 174. Gold contract. We have with the gold contract. Gold contract has been moving sideways. It's building cause for higher price. We have gold down $1.50, trading at 1231. You get silver down uh, 12 cents at $14.63. Light sweet crews having a hard time holding price at all. $62.85 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note. Up three ticks, 118.04.30, a bond up 11, trading 137.16, and King Dollar. King Dollar is going to be really important this week. Why? Because we failed on price, failed on volume, major failure last week, came back inside the range with volume. It looks like we've just developed the B2C and ABC structure on the way down. You're at 96.095. That anything underneath the 96.450 sends good old King Dollar index down to 93.995. And what we do have on Thursday is we have the Fed meeting. And uh, the expectation is that they will not go up on short-term rates. We will get a statement, however, and it's going to be whatever's in that statement uh, will uh, get this market going. Apple, Apple's having a tough time out here. Apple is down with volume once again. Apple's going after it to, to fill the gap. The gap we're talking about is 192.14. You got to 198.17. What I do expect is going to make its way down to that level, uh, and we'll see uh, how the volume is at that particular level. Stay right there, folks. Next 60 minutes of trading coming up, as well as lots of numbers after the close. To recap here, we have the Dow Industrials up 209. NASDAQ is down 23. S&Ps are up 16. Come right back.